What's a true fact that leads to scary thoughts? Story 1. Submarines nowadays are very stealthy. There was a situation in the 60s or around the 70s where two submarines almost collided. Now imagine one country deciding to launch a ballistic missile that would wipe away a city or small town on a sub like that. I think there was a situation a decade or two ago about two submarines that actually did crash. I think it was a British and French sub that collided. I heard about it on a Wendover Productions video. Story 2. In fact, most cities, particularly big cities, have websites where you can look up who has committed crimes around you. Don't do it though. You will find out there are endless predators living right next to you. Story 3. In simple terms, a cancer cell is a cell that is damaged or not working properly, which leads to rapid division and abnormal mass growth. Our body has mechanisms to kill cells that aren't doing their job properly and every day, non-stop, our body looks for them and kills them. The problem of cancer is not the damaged cells, it's that our body missed one pesky little shitty damaged cell and now it is divided and replicated and turning into a growing mass. Since the moment we are born, we have these faulty cells, and since the moment we are born our body works to correct it by killing them every single day until you die. And for some people, until a day that it misses one and all hell breaks. Part of the reason cancer is so common now is because people are living longer. I read an article once that stated if you live long enough, nearly everybody will get some form of cancer at some point. Story 4 Based on current furniture building methods, a velocity of fire catches and spreads on modern items is a bit terrifying when compared to legacy, pure construction methods and materials, solid wood for example. A small test can be seen here. Also, because of modern building materials, fires are more dangerous to firefighters now not just because of the rate of speed, but also because of inhaling toxic chemicals. Melting plastics in every house fire will add up over the course of a career. Story 5. Tarantulas can swim. Funnel web spiders can trap a little bubble of air next to their body and survive falling into a pool. So if you find one while cleaning your pool filter, don't assume it's dead. Story 6. At any given moment, we could develop an aneurysm, have a stroke, or Alzheimer's. Years of education, knowledge, experiences, and memories erased. No longer able to walk, or talk, or know who anyone is. A simple fall down the stairs, a slip on the ice, a car accident, hard enough to hit the head, and it's gone. Accident right outside my neighborhood, teen driving recklessly hit a curb, flew up and lodged himself between trees. Not even two weeks later now, his parents report he doesn't know who they are, can't eat solid food, major surgery to face due to lay fort three fracture, can only walk short distances only, doesn't seem to even know what's going on. Story 7. The phrase, I won't eat you, the Russian equivalent to, I don't bite, comes from the blockade of Leningrad. When the Nazis blockaded the city and there was such hunger that, you know, it's used casually today. Story 8. Global warming is assisting certain fungus to become more adapted to warmer temperatures, and there are now many documented cases worldwide of deadly, often untreatable fungal infections in humans. In the past, our body temperature was high enough to prevent the fungus from surviving. The next pandemic won't be viral but likely fungal. Story 9. Enough of your personal information is accessible to apps and websites for them to predict your political views, tastes, and personal opinions enough to recommend content that they know you'll always be swayed by. There's also some sites that sell your data, and some that can predict your future based on your background and interests. Story 10. The universe is 14 billion years old. Human have been around for a small fraction of that time. During this time, there could have been thousands of alien civilizations that rised and fell, and some may have prospered. And yet, for all we know about the universe, we often consider ourselves the center of everything, even though our planet is just a grain of sand that is the desert of existence. Story 11. One model of the Big Bang Theory postulates the existence of Jupiter-sized black holes careening around the universe at relativistic speeds. All it takes is one to cross Earth's path, and we end up engulfed like it's the Langoliers. Story 12. How many people can you name who lived over a hundred years ago? Probably a lot. What about 300 years ago? Some, I'm sure. 500 years ago? 1,000? 2,000? As more time passes, more and more people are forgotten. Very, very few will have their names live on. Jesus, Buddha, Mohammed, Julius Caesar, Cleopatra. For the vast majority of people, there will be a time in which it's the last time someone has said your name or thought of you after you die, and you will be forgotten like the other 99.999% of humanity. Story 13. The Giant Huntsman Spider Scientific name Heteropoda maxima, found in Laos, is a species of huntsman spider 
Sparacidae, a family of large, fast spiders that actively hunt down prey. It is considered the world's largest spider by leg span, which can reach up to 30 centimeters, or one foot. Story 14. Reality exists entirely exterior to the way our brains are coded to understand it. We're using tools developed for understanding our surroundings as hunter-gatherers and forests and plains to try and navigate the whole world, space, complex social institutions, abstract concepts, and powers beyond our own. The universe is like the world, and we are like the puppy on a leash. Our instincts, the limitations of our senses, the limits of our mental computation ability, and our tendency to view things through the lens of our own biological human needs. These things shield us from viewing the universe as casual, empty, indifferent, and terribly beautiful. We can't ever escape the limits of our minds. If we were to ever create an artificial intelligence capable of viewing reality objectively, its first words to us would feel empty and estranged, as if we'd given a birth to a cold newborn that does not cry, does not eat, does not breathe, and yet lives, looking at the world around it with cold, dead eyes. Story 15. Statistically speaking, every doctor you have seen has made a mistake while practicing. Be thankful it wasn't you or that the nurses or pharmacists or computer program caught it in time. They'll never tell you, though. Story 16. You will die one day. You have no idea how and when, but at some point, everything you made, everything you achieved, and all the relations you've built up will be for nothing at a certain point of you being dead. The average person has about 200 years of being known, part of their own lifetime up through the end of life of the ones who were children when they were old. Very few people, and I mean a fraction of a fraction, of the population manages beyond that, and the number drops the further from their lifetime we go. Unless you do something worth remembering, a plastic bag will have a longer legacy than you. Story 17. Years seem to take a long time when you're in them. When you were young, next year seemed forever away, but the older you get, the faster time moves. Now years seem to slip past in weeks, like a river sliding past a boulder. Story 18. The simulation hypothesis. Yes, the Matrix kind. Only we're not real but rather components of an extremely advanced artificial simulation. The thought is that if a species survives to become advanced enough, they will be able to model a universe, if less expansive and detailed than their own. You take that to the next logical conclusion that if such an originator species is able to do so, theoretically, if they ran enough simulations, a race in those simulations would be able to do the same, etc., etc. The hypothesis being that if it is possible to create a simulation of reality that we experience, we are most certainly living in one statistically. The only question is whether it's possible, if advanced enough. Those that favor the proposal posit that extreme limits of reality as we know them, Planck length, the speed of light, the visible universe via the total universe because of early expansion, are aspects of our simulation's resolution. Story 19. The fact that one day, all of your memories and your thoughts will be lost forever. Gone. Every vacation you had. Every regret you had. At first, you put this thought in the back of your head. But for me, I slowly started to rethink my life choices and who I was. Knowing that in a thousand years, no one will know who you are makes me feel like life is pointless, and it scares me to death about this. Story 20. It's thought that along the San Andreas Fault and surrounding states is overdue for the big one. It could happen any day and cities like Los Angeles are going to be heavily affected with significant casualties. Seattle has the worst potential event looming. There is the possibility of a 10-plus earthquake that could trigger volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, and flatten most structures in the area. The strongest recorded quake was up to a 9.6 in Chile in 1960. Story 21. You want scary thoughts? Well, try going to sleep knowing that at any moment, all could end. Cosmic rays and huge explosions could have happened suddenly really far away in the universe, and since most of this travels at the speed of light, we would only know when we are already burning to death. Story 22. It's statistically impossible that we're alone in the universe, which only means that there are other non-human beings out there that exist who are alive, and at the moment you're reading this, they're doing something too. Story 23. Everything you see around you will, at some point in the future, be destroyed. From the phone you're reading this on, the house you live in, the furniture, the streets, everything. It'll all wear down in ruins, even the earth. It'll eventually crumble away, or get burned up in the wrath of the red giant. Those old Roman ruins, that will happen to our cities. It's only a matter of time, and there's no telling when. Story 24. That one day, my bones will be dust in the ground. This house will be occupied by someone else or sold. Everyone I've ever loved or talked to at some point will wake up for the last time. My soon-to-be ex-wife, us now on separate paths, 
at a time we once were life partners, but as I'm trying to live mine, she's living hers. And one day she'll be gone, lying on her deathbed. Will she still think about me? Will anyone I've loved think of me? I'm gonna die. You're going to die. My parents will die. All of us. One day, my first visit out of the US, actually I was seeing my wife then, we went and visited her hometown. Walking around this ancient Scottish little city, I spotted a graveyard with a big rundown, very, very old church. I walked in and saw tombstones dated from the 1400s. That moment, right there, 22 years old, eyes locked with this old, decrepit grave, it all hit me. All of that. Someone at some point was standing in the same spot mourning for this person centuries ago. They are gone too now, and so on and so on. Live your life. We are here for a very short amount of time, yet we all act as if we are immortal. I woke up feeling really apathetic today. God, I miss my wife. Story 25. Your dog probably can't understand you and doesn't know what's going on when it's being put down and why you're crying and petting them so much. They're probably very happy that you're petting them, which, in your perspective, is good. But for me, I feel like my dog could understand what I was saying for 30 seconds. I would be so much more comfortable with the thought of one day coming home to him not jumping on me and getting his fur all over my clothes. It's really depressing for me and makes me cry a lot, but hey, that's life, isn't it? We've got to be strong and move forward. My dog is eight, so I think he's still got a few years left in him. I hope. But I'm not ready for the day I'll hold him in my arms crying. Story 26. Cannibalism is legal in the US, but the way you obtain the body is illegal. The scary thing is you could just drop dead and someone might just be like, damn, that body be looking tasty, and eat you. Story 27. Realizing how insignificant you are in the universe, how there's millions of galaxies out there, and how there is possibly an alternate universes as well. Trying to make your mark on the world when so many great advancements have been made always gets me discouraged. Story 28. We're all living in Schrodinger's cat. Every second you are living in a place, in living and death, since we are decaying while we are alive. Plus, you could literally drop dead at any moment. Every solid item is actually moving. Story 29. Knowing that in the end, I'll never know anything. There's always the possibility that my entire reality is a lie. Maybe everyone I love is simply part of my imagination. Maybe all that I've been doing, all that I've been fighting for, is absolutely redundant. But on the flip side, at least then COVID, anti vaccine vaccinators, racists, sexists, etc. are not existent. But then again, that would also mean that those twisted things were created by my mind, which would be pretty disturbing. So yeah. Story 30. Boris Yeltsin once averted nuclear war. There was a research rocket launched in Norway to study the Aurora Borealis, and it flew in an air corridor at the altitude so that it resembled a high-altitude missile strike to Russian radar. Some tense minutes where the Russians were on high alert. We've been walking a tightrope for 70 plus years with nuclear weapons. How long can we expected to go without someone out there using one again. Story 31. That all social constructs are meaningless, and life is devoid of meaning, when we're literally conditioned to enslave ourselves to power structures of greed, to survive attacks our bodies and minds, for the sake of barely maintaining a substandard life because it's expected of you, and not because your soul actually wants to do it. Story 32. That it's actually extremely common for people to have impulses to do horrible things just because they can, and all it would take is a single person deciding to follow those impulses to ruin you, if not just outright kill you. And one of the only things stopping them from deciding to do it is that the trouble isn't worth it. Story 33 Life can end at any point in time, and you might never know it. You could be walking down the street, and a semi with malfunctioning brakes could come barreling down the road and hit you at 50 miles per hour. You'd never know what hit you. You could be babysitting younger siblings at home while your parents go on a date, and they might never come back home. It's really scary. Cherish life, people. I know everyone says it, but it's really precious. Think about it. Story 34. School is horribly under-preparing people for the real world. Kids are being thrown out into the world knowing that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, but not knowing basic first aid, not knowing how to get a job, not knowing how to hold down a job, not knowing how to file taxes, and so many more things. The political system has already gone to shit, so can we please get the education system dome reform? Story 35. Some years ago, in Northwest Asia, a little after World War II, Russia had realized America was starting to advance in nuclear power, so Russia made built a secret town in Northwestern Asia to study nuclear weapons. It was named City 40, and it was surrounded in barbed wire fence and walls with guards. This is where the scientists studying the nuclear energy lived. But Russia, not knowing much about nuclear energy, would dump the nuclear waste into ponds and rivers in the town. Unfortunately, this river leads to lakes and ponds in other cities. 
Eventually, though, their underground nuclear storage had an insufficient cooling and ended up releasing hundreds of gallons of nuclear waste into the river. This caused the village to become highly contaminated. If you were to put even one foot in that lake today, you will die. The lake that led to the other villages also contaminated those villages. So soldiers came into the villages, burned houses, crops, slaughtered livestock, and forced villagers out of their homes. Today, City 40 still stands. Story 36 Sleep apnea causes you to stop automatically breathing when asleep. Sleep apnea is made worse by anxiety. We all breathe automatically without being aware of it until someone says something. So sleep apnea can cause anxiety when you're falling asleep as you're focused on your breathing and even though it's still automatic, thinking about it makes it not automatic which makes sleep apnea worse. It's a death spiral of sorts to think about sleep apnea while falling asleep and has given me two panic attacks in the last year. Story 37 We live in a rat race society where people are completely unaware of the fact that we spend the prime of our lives in a five-day work week chasing that two-day weekend. And then when it ends, quickly we start all over again. We live in a cycle of working and when we finally do get a permanent break, we'll be too old and diseased to enjoy it. Story 38 most of everything is nothing, and you will never truly feel the touch of another human being. There's far more space between atoms than there is atoms. Much more empty space between planets and stars than there are planets and stars. Several meters between hydrogen atoms and the vast, unimaginable stretch of otherwise empty space between the stars. And most of those hydrogen atoms is made of emptiness between nucleus and electron. You will likely never actually touch something. The feeling of touching something is merely the fundamental forces fighting to keep an incredible distance between the electron clouds of your hands and the electron clouds of the hands of your loved ones. Millions of times more distant than the size of the nucleus of the carbon you're made of. Like pushing two opposing magnets together, you feel the force long before there's any contact. Story 39 the world is becoming overpopulated and can't cope. We're putting the environment in a position where its only move to save itself is to off us. The vast majority of problems that affect people can be traced to other people making selfish decisions with impunity. This is my top three. Edit for honorary number four. Most of the people you meet are only the persona they're projecting, and you'll never find out who they are for better or worse. Story 40. The fact that whenever a memory crosses our mind, we don't really remember the memory itself, but the last time we remembered it. The scary thing is our memories have probably been modified and we're just all lying to ourselves. From the time I heard this fact, I never thought of my best memories, so I don't ruin them. Story 41. The Tennis Racket Theorem, also known as the Janabekov Effect after the Russian cosmonaut Vladimir Janabekov, who demonstrated the theorem in 1985 while in space. The Soviets classified it because they thought that a sudden rotation of the Earth on a different axis was likely to happen suddenly and end the world. 